America, land of the free and home of the brave. Founded on the promise of equality, where all men are created equal, with the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's a very nice dream, but let's get to reality. Sexual oppression in America can be traced back for decades. Social norms were that men were superior and women were inferior. Females were not taken seriously nor given the same rights as men. Homosexuals were viewed as sick people and sometimes institutionalized for being gay. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious. A sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. Society began to change in the 1960s and 70s following the civil rights movements led by African Americans. Feminist and the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community began using their voices, becoming engaged in politics, and demanding equal rights. Well, the main demand, of course, is equal, equal rights. Equal rights to have a job, to have respect, to not be viewed as a piece of meat. Equal rights to, uh, to set forth our own humanity. Equal rights to get into graduate programs, to get into schools, to training programs. We're the bottom third of the employment in terms of pay. Today's society is far different from the 20s, 60s, and 70s. The work led by feminists and LGBT activists have transformed social norms. Today, both parties have made extreme breakthroughs, leading America closer to acceptance and equality. I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly and equally. I'm getting ready to do something, too. I'm running for president. Are you a woman? Um, yes, for all intents and purposes, I am this a woman. This is the first time an openly transgender person has appeared on the cover of Time Magazine. Music. As a woman with the most beautiful gay fans in the whole world. <laughs> to do my part. I refuse to accept any misogynistic and homophobic behavior in music, lyrics, or actions in the music industry. It's guaranteed by our Constitution are shining through. Similar scenes in four other states where federal courts had struck down bans on same-sex marriage. Feminist and the LGBT community must continue fighting for equality. Homosexuals are bullied, abandoned, and even killed. Females fall victim to slut-shaming, abuse, unequal pay. In order for America to reach full equality, future sexual revolutions are needed. A transgender teenager was struck and killed by a lorry after apparently leaving a suicide note detailing the torment over her gender identity. What did she expect to happen at 1 a.m. in the morning after sneaking out? I'm not saying, assuming that these facts are accurate and this did happen, I'm not saying that she deserved to be raped, but knowing the facts as we do here, including what the prosecutor has set forth, this case is going nowhere. And it's To move forward, society must use the tactics of activists in the 1960s and 70s, exercising speech, participating in movements, and voting for those leaders wanting to reach equality. We cannot be satisfied nor rest until America is home of the sexually free and equal.